time driving in the city Good morning everyone! Today is Sunday, uh, February 13th and my boyfriend and I are going to be celebrating an early Valentine's Day because tomorrow's a Monday and I have work. So what are we going to do today, babe? We're going to color. Gonna, I love coloring. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go color some little sculptures. Oh. And then tonight you're cooking me dinner, right? Yep, get a big old steak wig for you. I love steak. This is our favorite pastime when we come to Chinatown. We always get some scratchies. Okay, we're gonna win big today. We're gonna win $20,000. I'm manifesting it. That's it? Hello. So currently I'm in the bathroom. My boyfriend is prepping dinner in the kitchen. And as you all know, I live in a studio, so there's not many private places that I can film when he's around. And I wanted to quickly show y'all what I got him for Valentine's Day. So Nordgreen sent over two of their beautiful designer watches in celebration of Valentine's Day. So really big shout out and thank you to Nordgreen for sponsoring today's video. And also a really big thank you to you all for continuously supporting my content, watching it, and just helping me make collaborations like these possible. So for those of y'all who are new to Nordgreen, they're a Scandinavian watch brand based in Copenhagen, Denmark. They have a strong emphasis in sustainability and design and all of their pieces are ethically made in Danish owned union certified factories and all of their packaging is eco-friendly and made up of upcycled plastics. They also have an amazing giving back program where they partner with global NGOs to tackle health, education, and environmental issues and with every watch purchase at no additional cost to donate you get to decide which cost you donate to so let me show y'all the two watches that i got this one is my boyfriend's so I got him their bestseller the pioneer with a white dial in a three link strap in silver and this one is mine For me, I got the Philosopher and it's a five link strap in gold hardware. And then I also got his matching black leather straps. Okay, I'm super excited to give this to him and see his reaction. I think dinner is almost ready. So we're gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna surprise him with this and we'll do a little try and haul for y'all, I guess. Give us a little description of what you made, Chef. 
Um, let's keep it simple here. It's just roasted Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. mushroom sauce, mm -hmm. um, prime New York strip. Mm -hmm. We have a creamy mashed potato. Thanks for cooking. No problem. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So nice. What? <laughs> you know, like the unwrapping videos? I, I love watching that because it's so satisfying. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the YouTuber or if you're the YouTuber. Would you like to arm wrestle? <laughs> oh, wait. I'm good at arm wrestling. Yeah, like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can do two hands. Two hands. Ready? One, two, three. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's okay, okay. Day. And oh, I got you a watch. You're so strong. How? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello everyone, good afternoon. Right now, I am about to drive this car to pick up my boyfriend at work. Mm, we are going on a ski trip this weekend upstate around like Albany area. So yeah, today is Saturday. Unfortunately, my boyfriend works on Saturdays. His hospital hours are crazy. So yeah, um, this is my first time driving in the city i'm a little anxious so yeah we'll see how it goes he actually trusts me with his car which to be honest i don't even trust myself with his car but yeah he's very encouraging so he says that i can do it so i'm gonna give him my best shot it's around a 20 minute drive from downtown to upper east side where his hospital is um and yeah we'll see how it goes i'm gonna go like five miles per hour. Wish me luck. Let's go. Okay, Julia, you got this girl. You'll be okay. Just drive slowly. Okay, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? Oh, thanks. It, look, it's so shaken because I can't. Is there a storm outside? <laughs> <laughs> Second time snowboarding? Mm -hmm. She's a little bit scared. Uh huh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna die. Not gonna die. But if we turn the clocks back now. Are 
you okay? How many times did you fall today? Like a camel through the knee, don't every day people are just a thousand verses. Like a hundred times. <laughs> Here with Teresa. Hi. I switch over to skis. Yeah, because I bruise my baboon. My boyfriend <laughs> says I have a protruding baboon. There's a few. They look really bad right now. For you too. Sponsor me. Hello, everybody. I'm currently in the Walgreens parking lot. My boyfriend is going to get my prescription. This is the current situation. I have a fracture on my funny bone. I actually know nothing about medicine. So yeah, it's a pretty bad fracture. It's completely broken. So think of like a celery cut in half. That's what I've been trying to tell people. But yesterday I spent around seven hours in the ER and they put on a splint for me, but I will need to go get surgery. This trip definitely took an unexpected turn. I was planning on vlogging this entire trip and just showing y'all like fun stuff, but you know, accidents happen. This is my first time breaking a bone. I actually didn't know how painful it was because they had to like shift the bone back manually, which meant they pushed my bone back into place or they tried to when they put on the splint so that was actually quite painful and they had to do some local anesthesia on my muscles around there then also gave me lots of morphine and yeah i am in a lot of pain but i'm sure we will get through it i think it's gonna be more like emotional than physical for me because I think after the surgery is done, I'll feel much better and I won't have a lot of pain. But I think what will get to me is like the mental aspect of things because I can't really do things by myself anymore. It's only been like less than 24 hours, but I can't shower by myself. I can't sit down or get up by myself. It's like weird. So yeah. That's how things are. I'm a-okay. I might be a little bit more MIA here on YouTube just because I only have one hand right now. My editing is going to take like two times slower. But yeah, I'm going to be fine. It's just going to take a while to recover. I think like six to eight weeks. So until then, I'll keep y'all updated. Please stay safe stay healthy if you're going skiing make sure that you know you're aware of icy patches and yeah with that i will end the vlog here and i'll see y'all next time bye i can't really put my hand to cover the lens because i only have one hand bye bye Falling deeper, cold and ice, that no more shit. I'm